So I wanted to take everybody through uh, FSX Live Portal. Um, I'll call it a portal. This is where you can get all your stats from any rounds, comps, any of the competitions that you play online on FSX 2020 with any of the Foresight products, in my case the Foresight uh, Sports GC Quad. Um, Foresight does have a portal. I'll put the link below. It is performance.foresightsports.com and it's a free portal. If you have a quad or you're interested in getting one, this is a good video for you. But uh, for example, you have some buddies uh, come over and they play a few rounds uh, with you, you enter some of the comps. It is free to sign up and track all your stats inside of uh, FSX Live. So I'll take you into my account and show you what options there are inside Live and give you a bit of an idea what it looks like. So basically when you enter the very first page, call it the home page, you're going to get to see right off the bat your current stats for number of rounds you've completed, average score, greens and regulation, um, a reminder that your driving accuracy needs to improve, etc. But as I scroll down, you'll see all the rounds and the scores that I've played pretty much since uh, the beginning of time you can go back. I'll just take you to the last round that I've played. Um, it's captured the course name, the date that I've played, uh, how many holes I've played, the score, and then uh, your uh, par or uh, above par, in this case, uh, one over. From there, you can go into the golf course itself and see some of the actual stats for the, the, the round. You can see the entire scorecard, uh, the holes that you've birdied, bogeyed, parred, etc. You can look through and see the elevation that you were playing at, the current temps for the settings that you played, uh, green speed, pin placements, all the different settings that you had in the game itself. And then you can look at a hole by hole play. For example, hole number one, par four. I hit a driver off the tee, uh, wedge into the green, and then putted and ended up with a, a score of four. And you can go down and you can look at all the holes. It'll tell you what par the particular hole was. Um, if you had a penalty drop like I did on hole number three, you'll be able to see the penalty drop. If you wanted to go into the particular shot, you should be able to click on the shot. Uh, for hole number five, I just clicked on driver. And we'll see all our driver uh, data from that particular uh, shot that we hit. And if you want to go into it a little bit more, you can go into the shot analysis for that particular swing. And from there again, same same stats, date, time, talking about the club itself. Uh, you can hit the range tab and you can look at the peak height. You'll be able to see the distance, etc. And then the offline trajectory, the dispersion of that particular single shot. And then the club data for that particular uh, swing. In this case, my driver was an out to end swing playing a, a fade. Uh, obviously hit the fade, gives you the 10 degrees, the side spin, the back spin. Um, impact location on the club face itself, uh, launch angle and uh, angle of attack uh, loft as well. So it gives you a lot of data. I know a lot of people that come over and use the GC quad here in uh, my golf bay always want to be able to take pictures or they're taking pictures of the screen and seeing some of the club data so they can go home and analyze it a little bit further. Well this is one step further. Uh, no pictures required with your smartphones. Um, you can just go home and sign up with your account and see all the shots that you hit on the time that you were in the, the simulator bay. And this works if you're in a commercial facility. If you sign in with your, um, your user and password, your FSX Live uh, account, um, you can sign in a commercial environment or a personal residential environment such as mine. Um, we'll just go back to uh, the start and again same same across all the different rounds that you've played and you score and they'll stay there and continue to grow over the years that you have uh, the software and you continue to use it. Uh, we also have a stats tab in the center here and basically the stats tab is going to get into um, for me a lot of the practice and the practice sessions that I have just on the range etc so for example, right on the home page of the stats tab, it's telling me that I hit 357 shots last month. Total hours of training last month were almost three and a half. 
and then we can go down to the specific days, dates and how many shots that I hit on that date, what club or how many clubs I've used. If I had a camera set up, we would be able to see little screenshots, three second screenshots, and then of course your time total practicing. Um, I'll scroll down and see if I can find one here that I actually had a camera set up for, that I had the lights on for too as well, so we can uh, get a bit of, bit of an idea what the camera and everything looks like. Let's see if we can find one of these ones in here. So going back, I don't use the camera a lot inside of uh, FSX 2020 for reasons. I have high-speed cameras, but I do use the Swing, uh, Swing Catalyst software, so I don't necessarily hook them up to this uh, very often. But for example, um, because I tag my clubs when I'm hitting them, um, I don't play the Mizuno irons, but this particular day that I was using uh, this, uh, the MP18s, the new Mizunos when they first came out, and I'm hitting a six iron here, and it's telling me that I chose, I used three clubs that day. I hit a six iron, and if I scroll down, I hit a P760, the TaylorMade six iron. And I hit the TaylorMade M6 six iron. I guess we're doing some comparison that particular day. So if I stick to this uh, one club here, talking about 75 shots, three different clubs I use, max distance and max ball speed. But again, we can go into each individual shot, and right on the right off the bat here, shot 16. I can open up shot 16 and look at the stats for that particular golf club. And these are all the stats that you guys at home might be interested in or or um, care about. Um, we do have a three-second clip of the video where I can play the video right then and there, and it's just off a webcam, so kind of some of my head is chopped off. If we needed to, we would be able to zoom in. Um, if my camera was set up, this was more in a test kind of environment just to see how well the camera would work just off of a simple webcam. So it does capture every single shot. And again, if we go into the shot analysis, and you can do the shot analysis for every single practice shot for, from the beginning of time uh, once you've uh, logged in with your um, FSX Live account. And uh, we can see the range for that shot and how I hit a bit of a, a pull, duck hook pull there. Um, the club data and talking about here's how that pull happened. We got five, uh, five point four closed club face to target. Path was pretty neutral. Um, toe down a little bit and we hit a big, uh, big old draw. It's talking about our launch angle, our angle of attack, etc. So, gives you a bit of an idea on all the stats and the, the specifics around the clubs. And again, once we get into it, uh, that was going back into 2019 just to try to find a camera shot that I had with the lights turned on. But every time I hit a shot, it automatically tracks. You don't have to upload anything. You don't have to do anything. All you have to have is your, your quad, in my case, connected to the internet at all times, and it'll automatically track and, and save all of your data on your user account, on your live account. Um, so that's, that's a great option. Um, very similar to uh, the E6 portal, if some of you guys are E6 users. E6 Connect users. Uh, the portal is very similar. Um, this is just the uh, Foresight Sports uh, version of it. Um, a few other options that we have inside the portal are the contests. So when we get into the contests here, um, the home page right off the bat, just waiting for it to load. The home page right off the bat is going to show me just a quick summary of the best that I did during specific competitions. For example, my longest drive, I just did this one um, yesterday, I entered a long drive competition and made a video and uploaded it, so have a look at the channel if you wanna see the, what the long drive competitions are all about. But it captures your longest drive um, closest to the pin for one of the competitions I joined, uh, which wasn't very close at all, but 19 feet. My best skills challenge was 30 points and my best ranking for one of the tournaments or the full 18 holes that I played or one of the comps that I played online here was uh, fifth place. And um, the tournaments or some of the comps that I've joined just recently, right off the bat, we have uh, Teton Pines hole 14 and this was the long drive competition here, as you can see by the measuring tape icon. Um, if I had the camera turned on, we'd be able to look at the video and it, I ranked uh, 5 out of 25. I was in the 5th place out of 25 players on that particular comp. And then you can go and if we 
go into the actual comp itself. I honestly don't know if I ever have, so we're going to learn this one together and see what it shows us inside the comp. Okay, so basically the same thing, the breakdown of the stats of those drives. Um, and that was the one that got the fifth place here, that uh, carry of 310 rolled out to 334.8. And if we want, we can go into those statistics, understand a little bit more. The, the peak height happens to be in yards. The backspin was on the lower side, but that carry kind of backspin of 1900, um, quite a high launch angle. And um, club speed will be in here somewhere. Here we go, club speed 114, almost 115. And uh, we got ball speed somewhere in here as well. Ball speed 166 for that particular shot. Again, the, an the analyze uh, screen, exactly the same as the ones we looked through or went through. So um, just the same options over and over again throughout uh, the different um, categories. Uh, the range, we can go and see what that shot was. Just a slight draw, little push draw. Path coming from the inside, open to target. Pretty standard strike. And um, that was the stats for that particular um, shot. If we head back to the competition board, uh, one of the nice things is you can go and look at the leaderboards. And what I look at the leaderboard for on a every now and then uh, occasion is basically to see what competitions are available if I want to kind of mess around a little bit and, and join one of these quickly for a quick uh, session here in the sim bay. Um, it just tells you that there's an October skills challenge if I want to go into the software and play the skills challenge and it's open. Uh, the months to date are, are the North American version here right now. So uh, October 1st, this skills challenge is open till uh, November uh, 1st. So you got a full month there. Broken T number seven, closest to the pin. It's five shots uh, for the attempt to get on the leaderboard and it's open for the entire month and so on. You can go down. As you can see, some of the competitions are courses that I don't actually own, so there's an opportunity to click on a shortcut and link yourself right in and, and uh, purchase that uh, particular course if that's something that you're interested in. Any of the competitions that I do own the courses for, obviously you can see the uh, highlighted owned section there. And they go all the way back. We're down into September and August. Obviously, once the competition has expired, you can't go into it, but you can always go and have a look at the the uh, leaderboard so if we click on the leaderboard for broken T number seven closest to the pin here it'll take us into the leaders and we have a couple hole-in-one leaders here right off the bat so a few uh, foresight users have uh, done really well on uh, that particular competition and um, if you play it you can find your name and see where you stack up against the rest this one has looks like 77 players involved in this one and you just keep clicking the pages over or if you wanted to compare yourself versus another player maybe it's a colleague friend or just somebody you know online you would be able to uh, check box them and hit the compare button here and pick those two names compare the distances between the two or the three or four people that you have so pretty pretty neat portal got a lot of uh, usability, a lot of options, and a lot of great tracking. Once again, the best part about the FSX Live Portal is you don't have to do anything special. Just make sure your hardware, whether that's the GC Hawk, the GC Quad in my case, the GC2, are connected to the internet while you're on the range or while you're playing any of these comps. In fact, you can't actually join any of the comps without being connected to the internet. So. Um, all that data will be uploaded as long as you're logged on and connected to the internet. You, it'll automatically happen and you can look at your stats at any time you feel free. So that's a quick overview of the golf piece of the portal. Of course there are a few other options. If you have a, a GC Hawk you do have the soccer option. So if you have any of the soccer golf that you're playing or if you have uh, zombies or roulette um, fairgrounds they do have an option coming soon here for the games statistics and then there's some personal profile information that uh, I won't get too much into but you put your handicap in if you require or have a handicap um, your username whether that's your full name or a nickname um, email address right hand left hand that sort of basic information so that's about it that's kind of the whole package in a nutshell um, if you guys need any further detail, feel free to comment. I'll get back to you or go into something a little more detailed if you're interested. But uh, thanks for watching.